We are going to the border of Cambodia to cross over into Thailand. So we've stopped after only an hour, but you never know what's happening. Um, so I think we have three more hours, but then again, you never know what's going to happen. So we will get to the border and I will show you what happens there as we cross from Cambodia into Thailand, which I've never done before by land from Cambodia. So we'll see what happens. And I'll show you the bus. There's the bus. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm not here. With them? Oh, I'm not paying them. <laughs> Oh, see, you can pay 200 baht and not wait, but I'm going to not pay. So people come up to you. See, here's the queue. So what happens is you get off the bus with your little red square sticker on you, and then you go to the departure gate, and then you just wait in line for your stamp out of Cambodia. Now, coming from the other side, if they take you to a place that says... It's a thousand something. That's not true. It only costs 20 or $25, depending on how they feel, to get into Cambodia. So, welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> no, it's not so bad, really. I'll see you on the other side. Saying goodbye to Cambodia. <laughs> so, after you get stamped out of... Cambodia. You don't know whether you're in Cambodia or Thailand. You continue walking with all your luggage. But isn't this cool? It's Angkor Wat as you leave Cambodia. I love it. And then I see the sign for Kingdom of Thailand just down the road. So I'm going to go to Thailand now. I'll see you over there. It hasn't been so bad. So for some reason, we find ourselves at this stop. It takes three hours to go from Siem Reap to Hoi Pet. And now we have to get off the bus, go to the bathroom in this horrible place. <laughs> With puppies. There's a little puppy. Um, I don't know why we're here, but we're just right at the border. So we have to change buses. I don't know why, but I did get a through ticket. Hey, don't eat my dress. Um, I'll show you at the border when we get there. So this is what you get. You get a red sticker, and that means we're herded like cattle somewhere. So you get the sticker, you have to show them your ticket, and then we go to the border. So that's what takes so long. I think next time I'm taking a taxi. <laughs> and this kind gentleman from Poland, he also has one. He's got his too. <laughs> so we wait in line to get our passport stamped. And it's quite hot. And then we'll be in Thailand and then we get on minivans to go to Bangkok. It hasn't been too bad. After you pass out of Cambodia, they take your fingerprints and take your picture, and then you walk into Thailand. And here we are in Thailand, and then you get in another conveyance. Here we are. <laughs> I don't know what's coming next. I hope it's a minivan, and we're not in this. Well, this is it's nice. It's not. It's a big bus. It's a big bus. Okay, good. And then we're going to Bangkok. So it's quite a process, and I think it probably took about two hours. What do you think? At least an hour and a half. It, so. Yeah. So, uh plan on an hour and a half to two hours at the border. They have to think of a simpler way. Welcome to Thailand! <laughs> so there's a lot of crap involved and a lot of steps. They have to think of a better way. I mean they took our fingerprints for God's sake. Um, so now we're waiting at another cattle holding place to get the final bus to Bangkok. My advice is to fly. I don't think I need to do this again. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand again. 